So two problems I see with that game. One, I got super fixated on trying to spot the destroyer that no one would shoot at. And two, I probably got a little hyper fixated on the Saipan that I could never find. So there we go. Is it true that Texas is coming back to Houston before the end of the year? The answer is no. Um, oh, I see what you're saying. Texas's permanent home is now going to be Galveston. So right now, um, she is um, on the north side of the Galveston ship channel in a floating dry dock while they finish her up. When she is done, they'll float her and she will be permanently moored on the south side of the ship channel down at around Pier 23, I think? Pier 21. So... The Galveston cruise terminals are both at Pier 25. There's one at Pier 25 and one at like Pier 28. So the piers start at one and are numbered as you go west. So 25 and 28 are right near kind of like this, what I consider like the central business and shopping area of Galveston. And the cruise terminal is right there. Pier 21 is only three or four blocks over. Pier 21 is the home of, okay, eh, not great matchmaking. We'll figure it out. Um, Pier 21 is the home of um, the tall ship Alyssa. The Ocean Star Museum, which is a which is a museum to um, uh, jack up jack up drilling rigs, Fisherman's Wharf is a nice seafood restaurant right there. That is where Texas's permanent home is going to be. They're going to build her a little something rather like a like a like a like a like a store and a, a ticket sales booth and some restrooms. And Texas is going to be moored right there at Pier Twenty One. If you keep going east, Royal Caribbean's uh, cruise terminal is down at Pier Ten. And just this year, they signed an agreement, I think, with MSC, I think MSC, to build a cruise term, another cruise terminal at Pier 16. Here's one for you, dear. Yes, I see that. I was waiting for you to finish. Yeah, I had to shut up. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Texas is important to me, too. Um, I was a cryptologist. I could do this uh, all day. Rancher, uh, which is basically a code breaker. I tried to go Navy nukes the exam by three points the first time, and I think one point the second time, and then I couldn't take it again, so I ended up as a cryptologist. Lady Mia. Yeah, they should help. I could really learn to hate Yorktowns. I need to mic her. So, Lemming, this setup is not built for that, okay? The one downstairs is. The one downstairs is. When she joins me on the table, like when we go downstairs and sit in the studio, she has her own mic, and we do it that way. Um, Chaser asks if Texas is going to be floating free in the harbor. Yes. they. I know they looked into the price of the call for dam. There's, there's, there's two two major issues with trying the call for dam. One is price, okay? It's ex it's insanely expensive to build all of that stuff and pull the ship out of the water, okay? The other is that the ship is not meant for it. A sh the ship is now over a century old. The hull, the hull shape, the hull form is designed to sit in the water. If you take it out of the water and you build like supports along underneath and everything to physically hold it up, you're now putting a different kind of stress on the hull that it was not designed for. And so it's a different set of it introduces a different set of problems to the ship that they don't want to they don't want to run the risk of. So the dry dock period she's been going through was intended for, hey, let's let's get all of these blister tanks along the edge of the hull cleaned up, set up, prettied up, right? So that she doesn't have they, she quits leaking. They put foam in a lot of those tanks so she would be having fewer problems, right? All these kinds of things. And um, and that way they can put her back in the water because that's where she belongs. She belongs in the water. All right. We got to flood an engine in cap. Do, 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 do. Yes, I'm picking on you because you're the easy target. You'll get over it. Said, well, I kind of wanted to be a nuke, and their eyeballs got about this big around, and they were like, yeah. So. 
Gucci, Gucci. So much for I think the here is probably gonna protect her pretty well, Chaser, but I'm not sure. I mean, Alyssa stays there, and Alyssa's a wooden ship, though. Alyssa's a wooden ship, so. I'm still flooding this Collingwood. He took a permanent flood from that second torpedo strike. Let's put some AP dive bombs on the Palmer. Yes, AP is your friend. Damn it. Did you think I was gone yeah, I missed my deadline for the Naval Academy. Probably just as well. Mmm, solid hit. This is a much better game from a damage perspective. Now, the struggle is, I really want to try and get some... Uh, uh, that, was, that strike is over. Okay, we have somebody in our cap. Hey, guys. Did you think I was gone forever? Did you think I it's was the gone salmon, forever? by the way. It'll be the sub. Well, it's probably surprising that I wanted to play with Glow in the Dark, considering how much I hate calculus. It's one of the reasons I didn't get an electrical engineering degree was because I had to go to Calc 3. I said no thanks. Yeah, it's the sub. No, it's the black. Well, hi. You can't possibly make that turn. You're screwed. Yep. Toasty. We're going to have fun with him now. No, I am not, Dutchman. I went to the Bush school briefly, but did not finish my program. Uh, and the Bush school is their politics and public service uh, school. to a very small school in Arlington, Virginia called Marymount University. This Collingwood is still alive. I don't care for this. Let's go murder him. I think the Cleveland can finish off the black. Looks like he can. Come on, Cleveland. Get him. Trade your ship for the black. It's a terrible trade for them. That's why nice. we want to make it. Nice, Xander. My grandfather was a little too young for World War II. Um, he joined uh, during Korea with the expectation he'd get to see the world. And he basically saw Georgia and Massachusetts in Virginia. <laughs> oh, man. That was a... Actually, that was a bad drop. Oh, no, that was a perfect drop. And I didn't get them. Feels Aww. bad. Because they, they, they killed him before my torpedoes got there. That feels terrible. All right, let's try... Let's see if we can kill the Andalusia. We probably can't. His A is really solid. But let's give it a shot anyway. Nice, Chaser. My undergrad is in politics. Yep, he died. All right, well. Let's go hunt the Kitakazi to extension, I suppose. Or the black. can't believe this black is still alive. Oh, good, he's not. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, my hull is now in a useless position. Let's move up. I could do this I'm thinking... I really want to keep this Kitakazi lit so they can kill him. Let's work on that. <laughs> Sighted tanker, sank truck. Sighted tanker, sank truck. This Kitakazi's in my way, therefore I want him to die. I need to find a way to make him die. There he is. Maybe y'all could, you know, shoot him and stuff. That'd be awesome. Jaeger Torp's going in. Love all of that. Not as big a hit as I wanted, but still something. Nope, I'm going to overfly him there.
You guys can't hit him. Could you hit him? That'd be swell. I'm literally up here doing all the heavy lifting for you. Could you just hit him? No. Maybe, maybe now, maybe now. Oh my God. You guys are killing me. Come on. <sighs> Fine, I will also fix the, the hobo, hobo suit. suit. <laughs> I'm changing my... I'm changing this. Time to change direction. Well... No, I want to snuggle in here, really. I want to be closer. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop here. Just stop here. I need to find the kidda again. Okay, he's tired of being harassed by me. So his plan is to smoke while he runs south. Okay, I'm just gonna pull those guys out and go and go kill this and go torpedo the bejesus out of the Amagi now. Amagi's turning back. So let's go give him some help. It's a nice day to die. For you, that Can't is. believe those friggin' fighters are still there. Because they bloody well shouldn't be. They pushed the Kitakazi back far enough. I'm going to keep moving up. Who the hell is in our camp now? The Groningen. I can't help you with that guy. You're screwed. <laughs> his, AA will, his AA will ensure my de ensure that I can't touch him, so forget it. You kill the Kitta, life gets a little better. Luckily, it looks like you're going to do that. This oh, makes me happy. Hey, yeah. This makes me very happy. Ah, uh, that was just going to be a terrible drop. I put the button way too early. Well, I got the reset. That's something. So much for Torpedoes again, please. Breaks. I'll actually happily sacrifice those bombers if it cleans those fighters out. Yeah, My hull. Get over here. All aboard the Midtown Express to hell. And again, I have a Between the Jaeger and I, I feel like we ought to be able to make this Amagi's life hell. I just gotta get up here and do it. I'm really tired of this Yorktown. Yeah, you can't turn that quick, sir. Three to flood. There's what we wanted. Stop picking on the Kitakazi. No. <laughs> this game is so weird. Like, we're just all... This team is just all over the place. The Sharn Horse is going to die. He doesn't have to, but he's going to. I got to keep going south. If I stay back here, the Groningen is going to murder me. I've screwed up this drop. I'm on broadside on this guy, and I don't want to be. 
I want to be out in front of him, so instead I'm going to eat a face a mountain full of flack. Here we go. Solid. I think the Jaeger might finally get him here. Yeah, he turned into those. He's dead. Okay. I have to keep running south. I cannot stay behind. Okay, the Yorktown's on the other side of the map. The lightning is on top of him. That ought to be the end of the Yorktown. That's going to just leave this Groningen behind. There's not much I can do against the Groningen. That guy's AA is going to ensure my ensure that he's untouchable. I could possibly spot him for this guy. Yeah. Later, Ranger. Like, that's a waste of my time. Here's a hammer when you need one. What's up? I'm huh? Gonna, I'm gonna go back to my okay, all right. A crowbar would come in handy right about now. So much for anti lock breaks. See, guys, a game like this is why your ship has engines on it. If I'm an aircraft carrier and I've never turned off my engines, this Grange and the Salmon have killed me long, long ago. But because they didn't, and because I have engines, here we are. That should have been a good hit. I led him correctly. I just didn't get the didn't get the depth correct. Ah, that's a terrible that's a terrible drop. Well, the good news is we're gonna win the game. I've done my job. I've done harassment. We're gonna win. Life goes on. They're, they're never gonna catch me. Right. I could do this all day. Ah, I got a reset. Love it. One little reset right at the end. There we go. You know, Hujan, that would have been a good call. I should have thought about that. The auto ASW would have been really good against the submarine if I had been in range. I forget that carriers have that capability, but you basically have to bait the sub in close to you, right? Anyways, not my best Enterprise game, but not my worst. Like, I contributed. This Cleveland gets, gets a comp for being a champ. Like, that opposing Yorktown was just super irritating to him all game, and he just, he just weathered it and did what needed to be doing, so... That guy's 100% your MVP. 100%. Solid game. Enterprise's rockets against the right targets are so good. I would have liked to have gotten more use out of the bombs, but I never really made the effort uh, to kind of do more there.